Market Updates for 2022. Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Get Behind the Castle. We've got some super exciting things to talk about today. We've got some exclusive merch coming to Disneyland that I'm genuinely really excited about. We've also got new park updates coming in 2022, plus a workout class that you can take in the middle of Disneyland and more. Let's get into it. First up is this actually really cute character travel mug. I'll be honest, I'm not one of those people that thinks, you know, everything is cute from Disneyland merch. You know, they got figment popcorn buckets at Disney World, and we've got these super cute character mugs at Disney's California Adventure. Almost equal, not really, but still really cool. <laughs> these cost only $10.29 and they come with the fountain drink of your choice, always a win. And this teal mug features all of these Pixar characters at different points in Disney's California Adventure. Love the little details of them around the park. It's so cute. Next up for you Star Wars fans, we've got a shirt called Things That Tried To Eat Luke Skywalker. And it's exactly that, a shirt of things that tried to eat Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. This shirt comes in at about $29.99 and features characters from A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. We've also got this super cute Lizzie McGuire t-shirt for sale. I was shocked to see it. I feel like Disney, especially since they scrapped the Lizzie McGuire show on Disney Plus, I felt like they were kind of giving Lizzie McGuire the cold shoulder, but there's actual merch at Disneyland for right now. I couldn't believe it. This is priced at $36.99. I'm a Lizzie McGuire fan to my core. I was obsessed with this TV show. This shirt just personifies all things Lizzie McGuire. And that's not even the end of it, folks. We've got three different tomorrow Tomorrowland shirts. Like, I cannot believe all the merch that just dropped. It's incredible. First up, we've got this Tomorrowland long sleeve hooded t shirt for $59.99, which is a little pricey. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Something that's really cool about this shirt specifically, though, is it has a bunch of Tomorrowland attractions, including ones that are no longer there. They've also got this super cute People Mover t shirt. I actually really like this t shirt. It's $29.99 a bit of a better price. And while the People Mover is very beloved at Walt Disney World, it is no longer at Disneyland. So I think it is really fun to have a shirt of an attraction that is no longer currently at Disneyland. And of course, you cannot do Tomorrowland merch without having something about Space Mountain. This Space Mountain t-shirt is $24.99 and has the attraction outline and Space Mountain written on it in bold. Something about this shirt that does kind of bother me, I'll be honest, is the fact that it's not glow in the dark. Like, I feel like anything about Space Mountain, it should glow in the dark. I'm not convinced that it's not glow in the dark because it should be. We've also got special Valentine's Day editions of Minnie Mouse ears. Something that is very interesting to me about this is that I've seen two different types of these ears cycling around at the park. There seems to be a different one at the Mad Hatter in Fantasyland than there is in Downtown Disney. I would say to look at both to decide which you think is the cutest of the two. Make sure you do your research before you buy one because they're both the exact same price. They just look a little bit different. All right guys, I have some epic news. If you love Dole Whip, just like I do, we've got a new flavor for Valentine's Day. Woo, woo. This is a watermelon cherry Dole Whip swirl and it sounds so good. Like I'm trying hard to not just drool right now. And not only is it just a new Dole Whip flavor, but they actually have cute little sprinkles that go on top and a cute little butterfly gummy. The price of this is $6.79, but I don't know, at least if you're a major Dole Whip fan like me, I feel like it's worth the try. Like I will spend my money on this. And that's not all, you guys. There is a chocolate strawberry soft serve that's being sold with sprinkles around the rim and a chocolate covered strawberry. Are you joking me? This can be found at the Tropical Hideaway from February 1st to February 28th, so make sure you go get a taste. You can take a Disneyland workout class in the park. That's right, Disney workout classes are being offered inside the park. So these classes are being offered exclusively for people staying at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel. And I just have so many questions. Now there are 15 different classes, not all of which are going to be taking place inside the park. I'm going to list them out soon. So if you're wondering what exactly these 15 classes are, here we go. They've got aqua yoga being held in the fountain pool. They've got awakening yoga, 
bright and early during this sunrise on the Grand Californian's rooftop deck overlooking California Adventure. They've got boot camp in Disney's California Adventure Park. This is where it's about to start getting good. So this is a high intensity workout that takes place like in and around the park in multiple locations, which is pretty interesting. And if you can run a 12 minute mile pretty easily, this could be for you. They've got Disney ears yoga, which is just yoga, but while wearing your Disney. They've got a 45 minute obstacle challenge class. They've also got a power walking class that goes on throughout the park. I feel like this is good for you to practice like rushing to get to the front of the line, you know? They've also got a sound meditation and a stretch class, which does list that it starts before the park opens. So if you're like me and like don't wanna be around people, this may be a good one. It looks like classes cost about $25 to $30 per person, which isn't too bad. And you do need to be 18 or older if you wanna participate by yourself. And now that we got our workout in, let's talk about all the Disney changes coming in 2022. In 2022, the Avengers Campus Expansion is officially coming to Disneyland Paris open for guests. They will be getting the Web Slingers Spider-Man ride, as well as an Iron Man themed transition for the rock and roller coaster, and a Pim Particle inspired restaurant. I'm really excited to see how this all comes together in Paris to add their own little unique changes for each land. In 2022, we will also finally see the opening of the Galactic Star Cruiser Resort, which I am so intrigued by. I feel like I am going to be hawk eyeing all of the blogs to see what this experience is actually like, if it's like a flop, if it's actually good. I don't know, I feel like this is very high risk, hopefully high reward for Disney, and I'm so interested to see how this is gonna play out. We've also got a downtown Disney update coming in 2022 to look forward to. The AMC theater is being completely demolished to make a completely new social area, which is supposed to add like more nightlife and also new vendors to the area, which I'm really excited about. And of course, a major thing coming in 2022, which I feel like I've talked about ad nauseum, is Paris's 30th anniversary celebration. Mickey and Minnie are getting completely new looks. Minnie's gonna be in a pantsuit. I mean, I'm sure you've heard at least about that. This is also going to be like the first Main Street makeover ever for Disneyland Paris, which I'm so excited about. There's supposed to be this giant floral installation. I just feel like Disneyland Paris is going to officially take the title of happiest place on earth during the celebration. And if you live in Florida, I'm so jealous of you because officially in 2022, hopefully if it does not get delayed to 2023, the Tron Light Cycle is opening. So the Tron Light Cycle Power Run is a ride that was so popular in Disney Shanghai. Like I've watched the ride through videos of this over and over again because it just looks so fun and I am just so jealous of Disney World right now and hopefully if it does really well, they'll bring it over here to California for us because we need this. Speaking of Shanghai Disneyland, in 2022, they're going to be seeing the opening of a Zootopia themed land, which is so exciting. I feel like Disneyland Shanghai gets a lot of the really cool stuff. Now this is like the only Disney park that's going to have like an actually significant Zootopia presence, which is really cool. Also coming in 2022 is a new show called Nighttime Spectacular in Disneyland Hong Kong. This show is said to use state-of-the-art technologies. They haven't necessarily said what the technology is going to be yet, but we do know there's also going to be choreographed water elements as well as fireworks and fire displays. You know Disney is going to make it incredible. Anything with Disney that has all three of those, you know you're just gonna like cry at one point. <laughs> Also coming in 2022 is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So this ride is going to be taking place in Epcot and has actually already been undergoing some testing and is finally getting ready to be opened this year. It looks like it's going to be fully its own attraction, not just like Tower of Terror, <laughs> where they just kind of slapped the Guardians of the Galaxy name on the ride and made it unique in its own way, but still had the same mechanics of something else. Another new show coming in 2022 is Believe! Sea of Dreams coming to Disneyland Tokyo in 2022. So the rumor is this display is going to take place all over the harbor of the entire park and it's going to have a Mediterranean type theme to it with a focus on 2022, whatever that means, with water elements and fireworks. 
And what we do know about Disneyland Tokyo is they never do something halfway. It's going to be spectacular simply because it's happening in Disneyland Tokyo. And finally, in 2022, we are seeing the official maiden voyage of Disney Cruise Line's newest ship, Disney Wish. So something that is really exciting about this cruise ship specifically is it is supposed to have the first ever like ride on a cruise ship. It's supposed to be a water-based ride. I cannot wait to see what that's actually gonna look like. Now, a part of me is very nervous because I feel like the cruise industry is not doing super great right now. <laughs> so I hope this does not cause Disney to lose a lot of money because I would like someday in the future to see this thing. This just sounds crazy. Not only is it going to have everything that we listed, but again, that just typical Disney Cruise Line magic is going to be there, completely making it over the finish line. Disneyland Hong Kong closure has been extended. That's right, we have some bad news for you if you are planning on going to Disneyland Hong Kong anytime soon. Now, the hotels are still going to remain open just with adjusted levels of service and service at the restaurants and other recreation facilities, again, are going to be adjusted just based on Hong Kong's requirements. The validity date for Magic Access memberships has been extended as well because of this, and we're going to keep you updated on our side as well for whenever things finally start to open back up. Disney is looking to hire an NFT expert. And now I'm very curious if this is just in general because of copyright stuff, because we all know Disney is pretty intense about the copyrights of their characters, especially their animated characters. Now the job description says that they are looking for someone that quote, helps leads Disney efforts in an NFT space, including monitoring and evolving the marketplace, setting a category strategy and marketing key partners. Now to me, that sounds like maybe they're interested in selling things or doing some type of business with NFTs more than just copyright striking everybody. Some of the other responsibilities listed as well had to do with developing distribution strategies, which again, makes me curious. Like, are they planning to like mass produce Disney NFTs? I don't know. <laughs> is Disneyland getting a drone show? That's right, you heard correctly. So there is a new show coming to Disneyland Paris that is drone based called Disney D-Light, which is the first Disney theme park ever to do a show using autonomous drones. This show is a daily show that takes place obviously outdoors and I'm very interested to see clips of this pop up on the internet because I'm so curious to see how it's all gonna work with the Disney magic. Plus we do know already, Disney has submitted a patent to use drones in some type of VR experience so it definitely seems like a reality that we could be seeing at least some type of drone experience coming to Disneyland in the near future. If you are a major Disney fan and you thought you knew everything there was to know about Disney, Disney has just released a new exclusive, truly deep dive experience for you. Disney is now offering D23 Gold members the experience to do a fully exclusive day trip of Walt's hometown. Now, every single step of this day trip is planned out by Disney with the Disney experience flair added to it. Now, if you don't know a town Walt is from, it's Marceline, Missouri, and Walt has even said numerous times in interviews how much of an influence the town he grew up in had on both him and the parks. He said, quote, I'm glad it was a small town boy and I'm glad Marceline was my town. So on this tour, there are numerous locations out the town. You would get to explore the Walt Disney Hometown Museum, which was created by the city. Even visit Walt's Elementary School, which I don't know, feels a little evasive, but I guess it's fine. You get to scroll down Marceline's own Main Street USA, which again, inspired the Main Street USA that takes place in Disneyland, plus dinner outside Walt's family's former farm, which is like, what? <laughs> this is such an interesting and unique experience, but definitely once in a lifetime. You even drive into town from, of course, a luxurious hotel Disney places you in by motor car. <laughs> this whole thing is so 
retro and kind of weird and unique. I don't know, I just, I'm invested. <laughs> they also provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner for you, which I'm sure all will have that Disney level of excellence to them. This just sounds so out of this world. <laughs> I'm so intrigued and scared at the same time, but I kind of want to go. <laughs> So if you are a member of D23 and you have money, honestly, please go. Tell me everything about this experience. I just, I need to know if it's as weird as it sounds. All right, friends, thanks for allowing me to add a little bit of magic into your day. I'll see you all very soon.